this time. We're doing two videos this weekend since I've been busy a lot of weekends recently, so we're not always as consistent as I'd like to be. So today we're going to talk about nuts on a low-carb, high-fat diet. And nuts are a fantastic part of your nutrition plan. So there's plenty of nuts. How do you decide which ones are going to be best for you? Well, first let me start off by saying that I'm going to add some supplementary info um, to this lecture that's going to list nuts in order. Top is going to be some of the better nuts for you and all the way down to the ones that are going to not be quite as good of a choice. Doesn't mean you can't have any of them. Um, and we'll also give a little bit of tidbits about how much fiber or what kind of fats are in them um, and maybe some special micronutrients that are especially high um, in certain nuts. So be sure to check that out. But let's start with a general um, talk about nuts. So again, I said nuts are fantastic, but I'll start off with my biggest warning about nuts, and that is nuts are so easy to overdo because they're delicious. So don't bring in the big jar of nuts. Throw it in the drawer at work and do this all day. I mean, you can buy those individual portioned nuts, so it's just single serving size, but let's face it, they're expensive. So get the nuts in bulk, but portion them out into snack bags ahead of time. And what's a good serving size of nuts? About two ounces. And that can be a really great size snack, especially if the nuts that you're choosing are really fatty. But don't limit nuts to just snacks. Of course, we think about nuts, maybe nuts and some cheese as a wonderful afternoon snack, and they are. But they can also be addition to meals. Put them on your salads, especially the higher uh, fat nuts can be wonderful addition to salads. And some nuts can be great roasted and then thrown on vegetables <clears throat> as a side at dinner. So don't forget to use nuts for things other than snacks. So what's probably the best nut you could have? The nut we were told to avoid for a very long time, right? Macadamia nuts probably top the list. <clears throat> Macadamia nuts are a fantastic source of fat and fiber, very low carb, so enjoy them. They can come salted, roasted, you can put all kinds of seasoning with them, but macadamia nuts are fantastic. They're part of one of my favorite lunches. One of my favorite lunches is to dice up part of an avocado, add bacon, a hard-boiled egg, a little bit of macadamia nuts, and then throw some olive oil and a splash of balsamic vinaigrette on it. Delightful salad without the lettuce for lunch. Super simple to put together. So what about at the bottom of the list? Well, the bottom of the list for nuts would be cashews. Again, this doesn't mean you can't eat any, but cashews have the highest carb of all the nuts, and they're also lowest in their micronutrients and minerals. So if you really enjoy cashews, here's what I would suggest. Get a big container of mixed nuts and then add to it an extra container of macadamia nuts. That way you can enjoy your cashews, but you've got a really high portion of the really high fat nuts in there. So that's a great way to handle it. So what about peanuts? We hear about peanuts all the time. I mean, they're the most common nut we eat. Technically, they're a legume. But we put them generally, especially societally, into this category, and I think that that's okay. Because peanuts are really full of a lot of good things. I mean, they're high on fiber, they are reasonable on their carbohydrate content, and they've got a lot of great micronutrients and minerals in them. The biggest thing with peanuts, again, be cautious about the serving sizes. And that goes for our nut butters, like peanut butter. So enjoy your nut butters, but remember, rule number one about a nut butter, make sure it's just the nuts in there. You don't want a lot of preservatives or sugar in with your peanut butter. If you can get it at a place, I know we have local places in town where we can just squeeze our own peanut butter right at the store. If you can do that, that's wonderful. You can even make your own at home. But again, be cautious. Rule number one of a low carb, high fat diet is eat food, real food, your nut butter should just have nuts in it. Okay, 
so again, all the nuts and then a little bit of tidbits about them are going to be as a supplementary material here. So I really encourage you to read them and learn a little bit about the nuts you might be choosing. But I want to add a second section here, and that's seeds. So we think about nuts all the time, but we don't think about seeds as much. And I'm telling you, they are even better than nuts. My personal opinion, better tasting than nuts, but when it comes to the nutrients in them and the carb content and fat content in them, they are phenomenal. So I always tell my patients, you know, when it comes to seeds, the things that I would really think about adding in are going to be hemp seeds, chia seeds, or flax seeds. And any of those would be fine. The omega-3 content of them is high. The fat content of them is high. They're great choices. The thing I would warn you about ahead of time is flax seeds and chia seeds, they're some, something of a stronger taste. And there's something a lot of people need to get used to. A lot of people love them. I happen to love flax seeds. Um, they even are made into crackers. There's one on the market called Flackers that actually has just real food in it. Um, very strong flax seed taste, which I enjoy. Um, give a try to. But I will tell you that I have not met anyone yet, I'm sure they're out there, who doesn't like hemp seeds. So hemp seeds, again, we didn't eat for a very long time. When people heard about hemp, they thought of what? Marijuana. Well, there's two different plants. The plants that are from hemp seeds are a different variety, um, and they are very healthy to eat. They don't have any of the psychotropic powers of them, so that's good or bad, depending on how you want to look at it. But hemp seeds are something that I really suggest as a wonderful part of any low-carb, high-fat diet. And I'll show you. There's toasted hemp seeds, okay? 100% of the carbohydrates in these are fiber. And toasted hemp seeds, um, one of the best ways to eat them is just to pop them in your mouth. I mean, they're great as just a snack, but again, fantastic on a salad. So consider high fat, incredibly high fiber, wonderful taste. But you can also get hemp seeds, here's a couple of different bags of the ones that are shelled. Again, you look at the back of them, 100% of the carbs in these things, fiber. Now these are softer, so they're probably not as good just to pop in your mouth and have as a snack like the toasted hemp seeds are. What do you use these for? Well, I have a couple recipes on my Facebook page that use these as part of fat bombs. They add a texture to the fat bombs that makes it sort of like a Nestle Crunch Bar. But my favorite thing to do with these is to put them in a little white wine in a saucepan maybe with some sauteed mushrooms and garlic, and they make a rice side dish. It's absolutely delicious, and I'll be posting that recipe to my Facebook page. But you miss rice, your family wants rice, throw some hemp seeds. All the delicious taste of rice, um, because it's gonna take on the flavors of what you're cooking it in, but it's gonna be healthy for you. It's gonna have tons of fat in it, especially those omega-3s. So don't forget about those seeds. Now, yesterday I talked about vegetables, and one of the things that we made was a spaghetti squash, and I gotta show you what I did with the seeds from that spaghetti squash. I mean, I was in there, all I did is throw them on a cookie tray, I sprinkled some garlic salt on it, and I threw them in the oven. The oven was already on from cooking the spaghetti squash, and now they're a snack for the kids after school. Didn't cost anything, took almost no extra effort. So don't forget our winter squashes, like pumpkin seeds, um, or again, from the spaghetti squash seeds. They're delightful toasted. Uh, you can buy them that way already, but if you're cooking the squash, take the seeds out, throw them in the oven. It's super simple. So again, not great on a low-carb, high-fat diet, but don't forget your So summary on nuts and seeds. Enjoy your nuts. Watch the portions. Don't forget about the seeds. They can be a wonderful addition as well. Read the supplementary info, and thanks again for tuning in. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be talking about people with cardiovascular disease on a low-carb, high-fat diet, and also discuss intermittent fasting. Until then, have a wonderful week. Thanks again.